spiritual things only answer to spiritual people. Spiritual things only answer to spiritual people. Number three, we must engage in a lifestyle of praise. A lifestyle of praise. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 29 to 31. Thou shalt have a song as in the night. Isaiah 30, 29 to 31. When the holy solemnity is kept, he said, and the Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. And through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrians be beaten down that smote with a rod. You shall have a song, and the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. You shall have a song, then you can assess the voice. You shall have a song. People are so depressed that there is no way they can hear from God. You shall have a song, and then the Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. Without a song, no access to the voice. Now, remember... In 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 15, Elisha said, bring me a singer. And as she began to play, the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha, and the voice of the Lord came calling. You shall have a song. Then the Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. You shall have a song. Then you can now hear the voice. You don't have a song, you can't hear the voice. You don't have a voice, a song, you can't have the voice. You know, Paul said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. He said, rejoice evermore. I want you to know what is in joy. If you are not joyful, you can't assess his voice. Without his voice, you remain a victim. So rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. Rejoice evermore. The truth is this, God's people, I hear from God every day. God speaks to me every day. I've never needed anyone to encourage me in 30 years. I've never needed encouragement in 30 years. That someone will sit with me and say, oh, Brother David, don't get worried. There is no worry around me. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Now, let me tell you this. The devil wants to depress you so as to rob you of God's presence. He wants to depress you to rob you of access to God's voice. He wants to depress you to keep you in captivity. You cannot be oppressed until you are first depressed. Therefore, be free from every spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. Be free from every spirit of depression in the name of Jesus.